day in and day out. Pickaxe to stone, fill the pockets with whatever iron ore he can grab, haul it back to the bar and sell it for a pittance just so he can buy a little bit of food and still have made just a little bit of profit. See, there's more to it than money. Rustilt can feel himself getting stronger. He runs a little faster, he can carry a little bit more weight, and he swings a little bit harder. Enough for him to notice, at least. And while the money in his pocket may be lighter than he was expecting, well, maybe it's a little lighter because he's a little stronger. But Rustilt is at an impasse. Not too long ago, there was a group of bandits that walked by him heading into the hub. Not the first time he's seen bandits walk in, but every time he sees them, he hides and waits. Then he kept mining until the sun went down. And as he walked into the hub, he realized something wasn't right. Fresh blood and bodies. What could be waiting for Rustilt in the hub? It certainly has been an interesting few days for Rust Hilt. Interesting in that, well, he's definitely watched the pattern of the sun rise and set multiple times. And now we're on the outskirts of the hub, about to head back in to check out what's going on because Rust Hilt caught a little bit of a whiff of trouble as he was heading back into the hub. But also, first of all, that planet is really pretty. Whoop, don't look under the floor. That planet is really pretty. But as we zoom out and we make our way in, back into Kenshi, you can see some blood here and here. And this is what caught my eye initially as I ran in. Something looked off and wrong. So I figured now was the good time to properly start recording. I had been recording just the, the grinding in case something happened. And this is, this is where we find ourselves. Heading into the hub with blood on the floor. It's a little worrying, not gonna lie. But before we head in, let's go look at our stats. Some things have changed. Our strength is now a six. That's insane. Uh, and it's almost about to be a 7. Well, insane for where we started. Athletics is now a 10, working its way up towards 11, and our laboring is a 27, because of course it is. Uh, <laughs> we've been hammering away for quite some time. And we've been sprinting everywhere. One of the things this game does is let's try to stay realistic. If you pack yourself with a ton of, of, of objects in your pockets and you wear heavy weapons and heavy armor, there is an encumbrance system. But if you run around with that stuff, if you work uh, laboriously with that stuff, your character is actually going to increase his strength and his laboring skill or whatever it is you're doing much faster. It's like strapping weights onto your chest and then in going and exercising and running, weight training. That is in this game. That's how detailed it is. So we've gotten, been able to blast forward a bit. Uh, but really, the big concern here is what is going on in the hub. You can see blood spot, blood spot, blood spot. And if we crawl our way over this way, we have ourselves some corpses. If we zoom in, we've got a hungry bandit. Yeah, I think these are the bandits that I saw outside. Another hungry bandit here. They're both dying. Not a bad thing because I can beat them down and take what they've got. Somebody who's already dead. Yeah, it looks like the guards probably beat the hell out of them. They might not have anything left. And then somebody else who's dying over here. So let's go ahead and start looting and seeing what's going on here. We don't need to sneak. Let's just sprint uh, a weapon that we can sell. Another one that we can sell. Uh-oh. I'm not about to get attacked, right? Hungry bandit leader. She's running. Nope. She's running away. <laughs> okay. That's fine. She's hungry, and that's okay. All right, that's fine. Run away, run away. Uh, it's good for Rust Hilt because he can't fight right now. As, as strong as he is compared to how he used to be, nowhere near ready to be fighting anyone. Um, so we're just that. I'm okay with that. I could first aid them and then start beating him while he's down. We'll see. Whoa, oh, hold up. Uh, interesting. Let's stop that. And let's just stealth KO. Hmm. I'd like to practice stealth KOing if possible. I don't know if that's doing anything. I don't think it is. <laughs> if we pick up the body, how do I drop it? Well, I can run around with this body on me. This will be good for my, my stats. 
<laughs> we can just rust tilt a uh, unconscious person over his shoulder, just running back and forth. Um, I don't know how to. There we go. Rust tilt put down. Okay, and that's that. All right. Well, let's get into the bar. It's still something. We've we've made some some progress here. It looks like the uh, the others were looting their bodies and seeing what they had, um, which is fine with me. Hey, good to see you again. Let's chat. I don't think these guys ever leave. Uh, before we go anywhere else and go back out to mining and training and all that other stuff, there's a few things I want to actually check. First, over here, there's this little thing I can, like, touch with gears. So I'm going to swing out that way and see what's going on over there. Maybe something useful. Maybe it's not. Whoop, what am I doing? Am I going to the bathroom? I am... Yep, going to the bathroom. Cool. Well, I don't need that. Uh... On top of that, there was actually a building that I saw. Yeah, right over here. I don't think I went in here. This looks like, yeah, there's door shut over here. Let's actually take a, a peek and see what's going on in here. I actually didn't realize that there was a, uh, another building that hadn't been toppled over in whatever chaos ensued here in the hub. So we're going to pop in. Ooh, does somebody live here? No, this is all free? Rice weed, rice weed, fabrics, Gohan, hacksaw, leather, sake, water jug, and a couple beds, and this. Halt down alt. There we go. 14% chance. Let's do it. We should sneak. I think that's going to up our chance. Well, we picked it. That was successful. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Linden's reports and a couple other things. Well, let's grab... All of these in the in the med kit. Uh, we'll leave this here for now. I'm gonna take a look at Linden's reports uh, momentarily. In fact, we should do that right now. A little bit of lore. Uh, okay, we just have to, we have to hover over it. I can't click it open. <clears throat> Luden's report book. Part of an official report within the Holy National Seal. High Paladin Luden reporting his patrol. As ordered by Commander Nix, we investigated the hub. Fortunately, there was no sign of enemy troops. It appears they all deserted the region. But before doing so, the Blasted Fools sacked the settlement and set it ablaze. Ah! See, that's why hub is a mess. Uh, before they left, they ruined everything. The hub is nothing but ruins. Most buildings are ready to collapse. Entire sections of the walls have been destroyed. Retaking the hub would be effortless, but resettling it would prove most difficult. It appears their troops occupied the town for some time, given that no bodies were found inside, but we still don't know what made the, sh the Shek savages abandon the hub. Further investigation required. All right, well, that's the first report. And we could actually, if we wanted to, rebuild the city should we decide to. Just an option. Uh, book two. During our patrol on the southern border, Paladin Lusak's hound spotted shadowy figures atop the hill on which the hub sits. At this point, the day was getting late, and Ocran's Oc light had almost fully passed the eastern hill, so that we could not clearly see who the intruders were. Lusak's hound grew increasingly more agitated until it eventually managed to escape his hold and chase after the intruders inside of the ruin. We followed, but during our ascension, we lost sight of them. The hub itself was still empty, but it appeared that somebody had indeed been there. Doors were open and items had been moved, for example. The hound could not be found anywhere within. Most likely it was killed during the chase. It is my belief that the Shek may have sent scouts to see if the hub was retaken. We couldn't see any uh, anyone retreating down the southern rampart, so they must have set up camp in a nearby cave. I suggest we send patrols deeper south to prevent any further incursions. I also recommend that Lusak be sent home for a few days. The loss of his hound has been bl uh, a blow to him. That's sad. All right, as instructed, this is at number three. As instructed, we reached the hub under cover of night. We heard voices when we got close to the walls, both female and male, but once past the gate, the voices vanished and the hub was silent again. Again, there had been signs of movement inside, but after thoroughly searching the, the place, we found no one. However, it was, when I, it was when I was investigating the bar that I heard Sentinel Amfetio's scream. We looked everywhere but couldn't find him, nor we could find any sign of fighting, not even a drop of blood. It was as if the damned place itself had swallowed him. We didn't stay any longer and quickly withdrew to the outpost. That place is cursed. The darkness has taken hold of the town, and it must have been this darkness that killed the Shek soldiers and Lusik's hound. Previously reported the presence of potential Shek scouts, but I know now that the shadows were in fact the wraiths. The hub must be torn down and scorched to purify the hill and to cut off the corrupt corruption spread. Oh, what? What? While Brother Varlu is right in the fact that the hub cannot be held for now, he is mistaken as to the reason why. Narco's power did not increase significantly in the last years. It is Ocran's light that has been uh, wavering for some time now. 
Our faith is a conduit that allows Ocran's grace to be bestowed upon us. We have let our society fall into decay and debauchery, and none but we are to be blamed. Women acting with ignorant brazenness, children shaming their fathers, men forgetting the deeply rooted traditions of our holy society. It is not the dark demoness minions that have been covering the light, it is we. If we are to avoid our lost brother's fate, we must purify ourselves. Only then can we save this world from damnation. Last, last one. As history has shown, the hub cannot be held. Every time we try, we inevitably lose it within months. The recent loss at the hands of the Empire was further proof of that. Narco shook the world and made two entire sections of the Southern Wall collapse, and no later than a week, wraiths have appeared and taken one of our holy brothers. As long as Narco's darkness covers the place, we cannot hold it. For too long have we fought with the false enemy. We must redirect our attention to the dark demoness. First minions only by destroying the darkness can we weaken her influence. Interesting! So, potential lore about the gods of this world. The reason the hub is a mess, we spent all night in here, which is hilarious. We have a couple beds, and more importantly, we may have a, a position here um, where we can call home for a little while. This is a little bit of a warehouse. There's a couple houses. But more importantly, I guess the question then becomes, do we believe that there is some sort of superstitious, ghostly thing happening here? Or is it more likely that uh, there's a hidden, there's like maybe a hidden wall or, or door that leads to somewhere else? that we can then use to see where these people that are supposedly operating in the darkness hide. A lot of options for potential, but right now we don't have an answer and that's okay. Rust Tilt kind of finds comfort in the fact that there is no real law here, that no matter who takes over, they're not gonna hold. And even the, some of the most scary and most powerful, the, the, the zealots, those who killed his mother and his father for, you know, false pretenses and, and for under false pretenses rather, um, can't hold this place, so that's good. Let's head to the bar. I wanna sell off pretty much anything we don't need here. I'm gonna sell the cloth and the rice, whoops. I'm gonna buy that back. Uh, and the rice weed, I'm gonna arrange that. And uh, I'm gonna head back into this little area and see if, if those statues are worth anything. Cause we could absolutely sell those for a quick buck as well. If we The hacksaw is interesting. Damaged book, and we don't need the cup. I mean, we could sell every little thing we find, but there's no value in that. It's better for us to sell things that are worth at least a decent amount of money, all the while working on our, our physical attributes and skills. All right, they're all dead. Everybody's dead in here. Whoa, 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 see, this is what we're talking about. Ninja guard, ninja guard, ninja guard. Hungry bandit that's committing a crime. I mean, they're hungry, so likely the, oh, just, just hanging out there, I guess. Oh, he put the body down. Let's, uh, let's rifle through the pockets real quick. Again, not particularly worth it. Is she dead? She's unconscious. All right, well, while she's unconscious, we, we might want to wait around to see if she wakes up because if she wakes, actually. Oh, it's just the guard swinging back in. All right, well, we know the guards of this town are, are no one to mess with. Let's actually sell the leather for now. I feel like that might be a mistake, but I'm going to do it. I don't, I'm gonna sell these off. We read them already. I don't know if they're, they're good for us for anything. All right, here's my plan. Come over here, take her weapon. Let's sell the weapon off real quick. This bartender is probably like, why do you keep coming back? And why do you keep having weird weapons that clearly don't belong to you? And Rustilt's just telling him, don't ask questions. All right, here's my bizarre devious plan. Uh, she is unconscious. Let's go ahead and pick her up. Let's take her out of town. I'm gonna, s wow, 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 what the hell, man? This is bonkers. All right, hold up, hold up. Put put her down. We need to loot everybody. This is insane. I don't think they're gonna have much because they're bandits and they tend to have nothing. But I'm gonna take their weapons. Is this better than mine? Plus four, plus three. Yep, it actually is better than mine. By barely, barely better, but it is. We're trying to make a best of a bad situation. You know, we're, we're very, we're very um, weak characters in a world that is inhospitable. We need to make sure we do everything we can to uh, leverage the world in our favor, more or less. And if that means robbing the dying constantly and selling it for pennies, selling their gear for pennies, at least that those pennies will buy Rust Hilt some food. Uh, so the, the plan here is rob these guys blind, sell all their weapons, 
Look at the blood trail. Oh, he crawled. You can actually see where he crawled from. He was beaten down here and then crawled all the way over to here just to, to die. He's crippled. I can bodyguard. I'm going to attack him unprovoked. I'm sorry, my man. We got to practice our, our attacks. So we're just going to attack this bandit until they die. They're dying. They're going to reach a um, hundred blood very quickly here. But anybody else who wants to wake up and start crawling away, that's that's okay with me. But yeah, that, that blood trail is from them just crawling for safety. That's gruesome, man. That's an unfortunate way to go. Ooh. Well, it'll fit a little bit better. It'll look like it belongs. So we'll actually look like we have somewhat of a matching outfit. Uh-oh. Hey. Are you guys zealots or... Yep, okay. You're zealots. So what I was going to do initially was take her out and heal her away from town, uh, and then just beat on her relentlessly <laughs> until she died, uh, in hopes of getting my attack skill up, but no such luck. And if we go into our melee, we're almost at level two. It's not great, but it's better than nothing. All right, back into the bar. What a strange little event that was, but that's what's kind of awesome about this game and kind of one of the reasons I adore it. So we've actually doubled our money um, by doing what we did, which is, Fantastic, but the hub is really still gonna be our home for quite some time. I think and I don't know how or if that's ever gonna change But I want to I don't know. Can I go over here? I wonder if they'll let me in this tower I'm very curious if there's anything in there We'll see. Let's see if we can talk to them about it at least so you want in on the shinobi eh? the guards try to lay the crack down, but they ain't fooling nobody They're nothing nothing a few cats can't handle. I want to join the shinobi thieves. I'm not interested right now. Sorry um what happens if we go in? Nobody's yelling at me. Can I go up the stairs? Or am I getting yelled at? Am I just being followed? Ooh, training dummies? Can I actually use these or am I gonna get yelled at if I end up using this? All right, well, let's see what happens. I'm training. I'm training. I'm training. Huh, well, it looks like the Shinobi Thieves, even though we may not be a Shinobi Thief, uh, don't mind having us hanging out here and we can actually work on our melee attacks all the while This is not for public use traveler. Leave it alone. I See Can I actually get up to three? Okay, well, we'll stop out we go. I'm not gonna mess with it Bye, and now we know that that's up there. Maybe at night if we can sneak in maybe maybe We'll be able to do a little uh, a little a melee training of our own but for now, we want to go mining again, but it seems as though we've got company over here, but they should be gone by the time we get over here. So let's swing back over and we can go back to mining for a little bit. So, while mining, something caught my eye and I think I'm gonna go check it out at night. There seems to be a bit more settlement out to our whatever direction this is. What, 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 what direction are we facing here? Yeah, a bit north of us. You can see a little building here, and I only caught it because during the day, this this right here is a windmill. Um, that means there's somebody, there's, there's somebody or something here. Yep, see, there's a house. And I don't know what that is, and I'm very nervous, but we're gonna find out one way or another, man. We're going to sneak in. All right, we're gonna try and sneak in and see if there's anybody living here, because if there's nobody living here, or if there's nobody home, we could potentially loot this for all it's worth, if there's anything there. So Rust Hilt, seeing an opportunity, feeling a little confident after all the work he's put in, the, the, he can see muscle definition, uh, the amount of, of actual money he's made in the past week or so, he's feeling like maybe this is it. Oh, it's a bar. It's a bar. Okay, we don't have to sneak, but we might as well. Why is there a bar way the hell out here when there's a town with a bar not far? Well, what happens when we go in? Hello? What's going on, man? Nobody... You got a one guard, it looks like. Ninja guard. Oh, nope. Two. Yeah, I'm looking for you, I guess. What do you have? Oh, damn. You are a crossbow man. Interesting. Chain sheets, 
dried meats, meat wrap, bread. I already have some food. I don't really need to be buying and spending more food. Fuel. Holy crap, a big old jug of water. Honestly, the next big thing we want is a backpack if we can ever find it. Let's come up here. Let's see if there's anything up here. Okay, he's he's watching. I'm being watched. Yep, the guards are watching. Fair enough. Fair enough. Goodbye. Sun is bright this morning, covering our eyes as the sun blows across the great grand desert. All right. Well, what's this do? This little windmill thing. Is it, is it generating power? Not disappointed, just confused. Rust Tilt sits by the bar. Why is there a bar within walking distance of the hub where there's also a bar? But that particular bartender seems to sell more weapons than anything. So maybe it's a bar purely as a front. And what they truly are is kind of a black market dealer. Spying and selling weapons to anyone who needs it no matter what. Let's do a perimeter. Let's do a perimeter exploration of, of the hub. While we don't want to leave far from the hub quite yet, it might be worth taking a look and see what's going on. Ooh, this looks nasty. Green and gross. Well, it certainly shows that hub is in the middle of nowhere. I'm calling it the hub may be a bit of an overstatement, and I'm sure Rust Hilt believes the same thing. It is a hub of, of scorched buildings, hard winds, and sand. That's all it is a hub for. And criminals, when they show up, who end up just getting straight up murdered in the process. Uh, around the hub lies nothing. Not a diggity dang thing at all. Um, but pathways out and beyond. There's actually a little valley here that leads to some water. I think that might be worth checking out. Seeing some water from this hill. It's the first water we've seen here in the Grand Desert. We might as well see if it's worth checking out and if it offers anything for us. We're currently in a sandstorm. I don't know what that means. You're in a dust storm. It affects your accuracy in combat. Fair enough. I feel like if we're going to run towards water, there's likely going to be creatures and settlements nearby. I need to, I need to QE rotate more. Those who, you know, subsist on water, like any living creature, would set up a home, I feel, near water. Maybe it's why the hub is where it's at. It's close to water, advantageous, easily defendable on the top of a hill. Not too bad. I do not see anything, but damn if it isn't scary to be this far away from the hub. <laughs> And I'm sure Rust Tilt is feeling a little bit of pressure. Maybe even minor anxiety as he sits here. Dust storm blowing in his face. Seeing what this water is all about. We've got movement. They're goats, herbivores. We're fine. But here we are, ground floor. And there does not seem to be much here. This is a river, if we take a look at our map. It seems to run all the way north to this big, what was probably a lake at some point and ended up uh, being dried up lake. Now you can see uh, this land showing what used to be a big body of water. It doesn't seem to be a big body of water anymore. And the north, there's an Arctic. There's so much biome here. I don't know what that is. I don't know what any of this is. An island over here. My God, there's so much. And we're just, we're still just kind of close to the hub. Um, but yeah, there's, there seems to be very little here. I want to swing in, and hopefully they won't attack me. Whoop. Slave mob. Oh, these are slave traders. Okay, we have slave traders here. Doesn't look like they grabbed any of the dead folk. Maybe just passing through. I don't think there's any bodies left anyway. And they were probably all dead. But we keep a safe distance, crouched in the corner, watching them leave. To make sure that we are not going to get scooped up in their shackles. And put into a, a slave camp. The question is, is slavery better than death? I think that depends on who you ask. Okay, night is falling upon the hub here. Let's see if we can sneak into the ninja guard tower and maybe make use of their training dummies a little bit. 
while they sleep. If I'm lucky, if I'm lucky. God knows if this is gonna work, but I'd certainly like to try. And if we do get lucky, we'll be able to check it out. Where are you going? Oh, you're going up and around. How interesting. Up you go. Practicing stealthing at night is always welcome as well. Bump up our stealth just a little bit. Hello, ninja. My name is Rust Hilt. And I'm here to train on your dummies. Nope, there's still gonna be a bunch of people around, it looks like. If I wanted to use your dummies and be part of the shinobis, what did we say? You can join for a fee, that's it. I don't have to complete a test or proof or anything. Do I look like I got, I've got time for handing out busy work? No, this is a business we're running, not a social club. Just a one-time membership fee of 10,000 cats. What do I get in return for all that money? You get yourself allies. We have hideouts like this one in a lot of major towns. We watch each other's backs. Shinobi thieves stick together. Honestly, not bad. It's a safe haven for you to rest and recover. We have specialist training equipment to use. You can sell your stolen items for our, to our fence. And you also sell some hard to find specialist equipment at a huge discount. Well, uh, I don't think Rust Hilt is, is in the mood to be a thief. Being a criminal isn't what he wants. Criminals are exactly how he got into the position that he is. More interested if he could get in there and maybe use this training dummies to train and then ditch the shinobis you know, immediately after. But the shinobis are smart and, uh, well, they charge a hefty, hefty fee just to ensure that you aren't gonna just use them and, and ditch them, I guess. It's a good way to ensure no immediate breakups in a relationship. Tip number one from Rust Hilt, have somebody pay you $10,000 or they, yeah, or you pay them $10,000 and then nobody's leaving anybody. It's just not happening. All right, we've got, we've got boys coming in. Dust bandits, all of them injured. Well, one of them's injured. Only slightly, and it is the just a bandit, not a leader or anything. He came running up, so that scared me. Uh, I wonder what kind of yeah he he's got his legs are hurting. Things are not looking great for this particular dust bandit. Coming into the hub, maybe just doing a patrol. This guy's getting stuck on a ledge. We're just gonna watch and see what they do. I won't bother you if you don't bother me. I feel that's fair. If you see the sword on my back, know that I took it from somebody who deserved it. How'd you like the rum, Romer? What, did she give me rum? I love it! I prefer water. Yeesh, bet your real barrel laughs at a party. But whatever, I bet you my right ear that I could change your mind. Used to brew my own rum back when, uh, back when we had the distillery. Beast rum, I call it. One glass of that stuff and all hell breaks loose. One guy gouged his own eyeballs out after three glasses of it. Great stuff. But... All good things come to an end, and I got busted by the guards. So take this rare chance to hire yourself an expert brewer traveler. Um, uh, I'll be make sure you never have to face a bandit or gutter, or gutter or a crazy priest sober ever again. How much? Six thousand cats? No deal. I can't afford it. Everybody's so expensive. I can't bring on anybody. Need any recruits? I could use a new recruit. Heft. Yeah, but I have a small recruitment fee. They need some settling. Never mind then. Everybody comes with a goddamn fee except for the one dude. I can't remember his name from the last episode. And I said no to him because I'm an idiot. I just like, you sound stupid. And then that was the, he's like, I'm out. And you know what? That's, that's honestly fair. I wish these bandits would leave. Not proud of himself. Rust Hilt has clearly become a vulture in these deserts, picking off the corpses of the already dead and mostly already looted. Anything worth having is gone. But Rust Hilt is taking everything he can, but it's wearing on him. It's not something he wants to be happening. He wants more for himself. He wants more for his future. And that might mean leaving the hub sooner rather than later. But for now, for what it's worth, Rust Hilt is still gonna stick around and keep things rather defended. Sometimes the status quo is the most comforting thing of all. Eight days. Rust Hilt has been out here eight days in the hub, mining, running it back for a little bit of money, and then buying more food so he could continue to mine and make a little bit of profit, all hoping that this profit will allow him to purchase things that will aid him in his quest for, well, for finding himself. He doesn't really know what to do. He's lost, his family is dead, and he's mad. He's mad about it. The religious zealots who murdered his family are still out there, but he's nowhere near ready to find them or fight them or even make an enemy of them. Not yet. Not like any of them would know who he is anyway. It's been quite some time. But the progress he's been making as a miner, while is positive, is not enough 
to make Rust Hill feel like something is happening. He's not made nearly enough to make himself feel like this has been worth it. So he's been scheming, thinking, what can he do? Well, the hub is empty, save a bar and a security tower, and stealing from them just to sell it back to them would be impossible. The way it works in the game is that they know that they're being sold their own stuff back to, or at least they partially know, uh, to a degree. Um, there's a chance, and if it's theirs, I think the chance is much, much, much higher. Also, I'm sneaking because of statistics. Uh, but what, what can we do? Well, we know there's a bar slightly to the north, a separate bar that does not belong to any city. Perhaps we could steal from them, but the bar also seems to stay open, or at least bars seem to stay open all night long. I don't know if that bar will be open come nighttime, because nighttime is when I'm going to want to try and sneak in. We could explore. Maybe check out the world, head north a little bit, or south rather, and see if there's anything out there worth robbing from. Maybe keeping what we get, uh, or grabbing stuff that's not all that valuable to us and uh, selling it off to somebody who will buy it for a higher price. Again, not a bad idea, and perhaps one we'll try. But I think the first thing we're going to do, other than sell everything, uh, is, is wait till nightfall. Come nightfall, head to the bar, and then, if we're lucky... We'll murder whoever's there. Um, house chopper. Stolen goods? No problem. Uh, right now, here's our current weapon. Uh, and if we, you know, slow things down to a pause. We're, run we're rolling with the horse chopper. It's not fantastic, right? It's, it's actually far from fantastic. But right now, he's stocked with a, a ninja blade and a katana. He also has a crossbow, the t a toothpick rather, of standard quality. This one's shoddy, this one's standard, you can tell by the type, and the pro prototype is probably scary. Each one, uh, depending on their quality, determines their statistics. It'd be interesting to maybe go range, but that'd be a lot of our cash. Um, he's buying it for... how much am I buying it for? I imagine I'm buying it for 720 because that's its value, but the sell value here is way lower because he's overstocked on things. The katana is our, out of our price range, and the ninja blade is interesting, uh, maybe as a secondary weapon. But I don't know if it's any better than what we have here. So the cutting damage is 0.31 versus 0.47. Yeah, it's not immediately not worth it. Uh, we have some food cubes over here. Blunt damage is none. Blood loss is 1.10. So it's got higher blood loss. And attack damage, plus four defense. It does plus 10% damage versus humans, though. Plus 10% versus humans. Um, minus 39% versus robots. This is just flat out. I think it might be better for us to... I don't know. Maybe this will be worth grabbing as a secondary weapon. It's not terribly expensive. We have 3.8 thousand uh, cats, which is not a lot, but it's better than nothing. There's no armor to buy. And some building materials which we do not need right now. I think wanted Dust King. The Dust King is wanted. This no the leader of the notorious Dust Bandits. He is thought to be hiding out somewhere in the border zone. Thirty thousand reward. Oh god, we could be bounty hunters. That'd be great. And then there's a book here. It's research artifact. I'm gonna take it. I don't know if I can do anything with it, but that's not bad. And then you know what? I think I'm gonna buy this. Sell the Iron Club. And wield this as our secondary. I think that's our that's our play. And then we wait till nightfall. And uh, when night falls, we can head out to the bar to the north and see if there's something we can snag. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Again, we have all these weapons and we actually have no real way to do any damage with them. Um, other, we've, we're nowhere near ready to fight anybody. Uh, if we look at our stats, you can see some time has passed. I'm up to 10 strength now. Laboring's at 38. The stealth is at 5. Everything else I think is about the same. Our melee attack is only a 2. Most low-level bandits are around 20. Uh, so that that tells you how far away we are from, from dealing with anything. And Rust Hilt is far, far, far under-trained when it comes to wanting to deal with any sort of enemy that's not on the ground bleeding to death. And even those he's beaten to death were out of, sen out of a, a sense of necessity. They were bandits, they were murderers, and he knows if he wants to survive in the post-apocalypse, his parents always told him that that is going to kill you if you ever try. Well, the only way to not be killed in the post-apocalyptic wasteland that is uh, Kenshi is to kill them first. And so that's what Rust Hilt has been doing. It's not been pleasant. 
but it's not been enough to send him into a spiral. I mean, in order to even live as long as Rust Tilt has, you have to have a heart of stone out here. There is no happy city like uh, we have nowadays. No safety net. Any city can be raided at any time for any given reason. You have to be ready. But Rust Tilt was a farmer. He was not ready. So for now, until until Sunfall, which is coming soon, I'm uh, Rust Tilt is going to continue to mine away. God damn it. <laughs> Where am I? I got lost. Ooh. Ooh, we have a fight. We have a fight happening. Quite a fight. Escaped servants versus hungry bandits. We may have something here. All right, we're going to slow it down. It seems that our, our plan to go with thieving is far from ready yet. We're going to swing in real close. I want to stay down. And we're going to just watch this fight play out. We have bandits and escaped servants. And these are the bandits. So now we have to loot them, or at least we can try. So these are the, wait, these bandits are fine. Escaped servant of the holy nation of outlaws are not. Let the bandits go and do their own thing. Unconscious, he's gonna wake up soon. He's playing dead, so he's not gonna be doing anything yet. I'm a little nervous, but he's playing dead, so he's gonna get up soon. Recovery coma, a bandit. Why don't we swing over there? They're not gonna bother us. For one reason or another, they don't care who we are. They're not coming back. Playing dead. Okay. We may have an opportunity to get some good gear. He's in a recovery coma. Nothing worth taking. He's got a gun. I'm gonna take it. That is actually a big get right now. Oh, damn it, run, run. Okay, he, he woke up. Thought you could con us. No, I don't think he could con you. Oh, he's taking shots. I don't, didn't I take his ammo? Nope. Run. Let's see what he does. We did try and rob him. He is not as hurt as I would like him to be. However, he is certainly in a bad spot. His chest is incredibly low, and if we get a couple chest shots off of it, we might be able to take him down. I just don't know what that'll do to us in the town we're in. So instead, let's run. I'm sneaking. He still can't see me. He's taking shots at me. Let's see if I can drag him away. Far, far away. We've not been hit yet. And he has not done anything. Ex holy warrior might be worth trying to fight. We're moving in. All right, we're gonna go to slow here, and we're gonna watch this fight. A block instantly. Ow. We gotta watch ourselves. Oh, he hit me so hard in the stomach. We have first aid. Ah, chests hit. We have to fight. If we can win this, oof. That's the left arm now. Oof. That's the right arm now. And he's still blocking us. I think we run. I think we're faster than him. Get out. Just cut, cut across. And for a long time, Rust Tilt needs to go. We need to run. So we need to head back to town. So let's cut to, to a hard left. It's going to be heading towards, you know, back that way, but... He's going to be getting shot at all the while. Now, he could potentially bleed out. Um, but our we're, we're worried about ourselves. We're going to have to bandage ourselves up a bit and maybe take the night to rest. Or at least get ourselves safe. Run, Rust Tilt. Run from your friends. <laughs> Run from the man you upset. You tried to be a criminal. It didn't work out for you. Well, it might have worked out. We got a gun. That alone is valuable. But we went out the, the wrong door, which led us there in the first place. So I guess that's a good thing. Let's hope nobody wants to murder me. Hello? Welcome. Take a look around. I will. And by take a look around, I mean heal myself. 
first aid. So we're gonna sit in the, in the tavern where there's guards, and we're gonna bandage up. Now, we're healing, and that's gonna help us with our skills. And Rustilt is afraid. That was an opportunity for him right there to hopefully, with luck, get him a little bit of experience, a little bit of fighting experience. We did up our melee defense, but we did, and we upped our toughness as well. Um, he did walk away from that a little better statistically, but at the risk of his own life. And that, that's scary. This is worth only 258 here. So worth holding on to. The question is, what do we do with it? Uh, let's see. We need ammo and it's good blood loss. We, we could steal, we could sell it. I think we could sell it off. We might be able to sell it off to the bar to the north as they were heavy. Uh, they did have a, quite a lot of weapons. It's only midnight, so we actually do have time. So why don't we sneak out the back, up le level up our sneak in the process. Okay, we're not being seen. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Will he get mad? Let's see. Nope, he does not care. Let's get out of here. Sneaking off and seeing if we can rob from this bar first. And if we're able to rob from it, depending on what we get, we'll have enough to trade or uh, enough, to uh, enough to keep and make our lives a little bit better in the process. But we're sneaking because it's going to up our statistic for sne stealth. And stealth the stealth statistic is, is just important to have as is. We're already at six. We're well on our way to seven, I think. Maybe not. That's okay. And we'll see what's going on here. Oh, hold on, hold on. We are, what do we have here? Dust bandits. Really messed up dust bandits. Who I think are going around and curing their friends. Looking up and over the hill, I don't know what they were fighting. They could be coming from a battle far off. Uh, let's see what they end up doing. He's crippled. If they leave the cripple behind, we're going to go beat the hell out of him. I think that's what we need to do. They're they're ditching him. True, Like true bandits, they are ditching him. Yep, and he's stopped trying to follow. What if we attack under provoked and just beat him while he's on the ground? Boom, we just smacked him. Yeah, and they're not turning around. And he's not screaming for help. He's just trying to get away. And he has some good stuff, it looks like. Yep, we're just going to smack him in the chest. Rustilt probably does not like doing this. Let's be real. He is basically taking down an, a man who's already on the brink of death. His his friends or his, his posse or maybe even his family to him have abandoned him crippled. Left alone after a rough battle only to be forgotten. Gave his life to this bandit troop, only to be killed by somebody who sees an opportunity before them in that alone. And again, Ross Tilt probably doesn't like doing this. This is not enjoyable for him. Boom, down he goes. But it's kill or be killed. And while it's not something he wants to do, it's almost something he feels he has to do. We might be swapping everything here. Yeah, we're going to be looking like bandits, but it doesn't say dust bandit uniform. So people will not think we're bandits unless we do banditry acts. Uh, do I want to hang on to these boots? I don't think I can hang on to these boots. Because these are better. And they're going to be a little heavier than normal. But oh, I didn't mean to do that. I want the rice bowl. Here we are. A little bit of an upgrade. Some better loot. We're going to be a little slow, but this is going to be good for training. He's unconscious still. Let's first aid him. Let's truly be terrible people. If we first aid him, what the hell was that? I heard I heard something roar. If we first aid him, we can actually beat him back unconscious again and gain some skill points for it. And that's tempting. So why don't we take this bandit who we've assumed has murdered a bunch of innocents, they are bandits after all, and robbed people who didn't deserve to be robbed and Bring him back to life just to swing at him a few more times. First aid him. And it's going to help our first aid as well. All things considered, this is all very, very valuable to us. He doesn't have a weapon on him, right? Wait. No, he has no weapon. He can't do anything. Just need to make sure. I can't pick that up. I'm not asking you to pick it up, Rust Hilt. You just need to be you. 
picking off who we can when we can. He's almost not unconscious, which is good. We're still working on him. He's playing dead. He spit at me. Did we do good? Oh, homie, I don't know what you're talking about. Hey. I need to attack you. Come back! Because now you're going to be my sparring partner. Ow! All right. Ow. Yep, that's fine. You're not doing a lot of damage. Ooh, Ooh good dodging. I literally brought him back just so I could fight him, and he is quite skilled comparatively. His martial arts is zero, though. But he has high dex, a decent dodge, and Rust Hill doesn't seem to care that much. Instead of stealing, we're spending our night beating a poor bandit. Oof, down he goes. Now wearing his gear, this bandit wakes up to his clothing being worn by the man who came up from behind from what he assumes was the hub, or that maybe even that bar, just to pick, just to take up the, the, the last pickings of what's left of this guy. How do I switch to my second weapon? And down he goes. Once more. Is he dead? No, he's just unconscious. Our melee attack and defense has gone up. What better way to get better at, you know, being you than to force yourself to fight those who do not deserve it? I can't even med myself. Yeah, I healed up already. I need to sleep. Splint injuries, can't do that. But we're gonna get him back up off the ground with luck anyway. And we will continue. Turning the sand red with his blood. Well, we bandaged him, and our field medic skill has gone from a two to a five, which is great. Um, however, he's not gonna do much. I think this is where Rust Hill says goodbye. Let him live. He may not make it uh, genuinely, but he'll have a chance. And that's all he ever got. That's all Rust Hill ever got was just a chance. So why not make the best of that chance? and make do. We are currently at a moderate load. You know what I'm saying? Uh, oh. And it seems as though something else happened here. A bunch of bandits caused some problems, maybe attacked the bar. Interesting. Well, I'm gonna dump this gear first. Evening. Hello. What happened? Seems like you guys had some problems. Sorry, I couldn't be here for it. But let's sell some things and maybe buy some things. Let's do business. What you got? So you have a gun. Uh, and you'll buy my gun for about 390. I might even just get rid of the gun as well. That already gave us a good chunk of cash. More research artifacts, which could be good. How about another first aid kit? Ringed saber blueprint, maybe not a big deal right now. We need a backpack, that's what we need. If we can get ourselves a backpack, that would be real good. Dying, dead. Let's go sell this. Well, maybe it's better than ours. Minus five plus three instead of minus four. Yeah, that's sellable. Just, uh, or should I say good morning? Sorry, I'm just gonna sell these things off. I don't know why you didn't pick them up and, you know, sell them on your own, but. Not particularly complaining. Now, is there anything up here that I could steal? Let's sneak and see. He knows. He knows I'm here. Can't look into any of these. Okay. How to research tech blueprints. You found a blueprint. Blueprints allow you to learn tech instantly. To learn a blueprint, open your inventory and right-click to learn it. Um, If you're wearing a backpack, make sure to close it first so that the blueprint doesn't switch between... Yeah, got it. I don't have a backpack, unfortunately. Let's go back outside. I don't think I've clicked on this. Oh, that's the build button. I think I was looking for that earlier. I thought it was, I don't know what I thought it was. Tech, but it's not, it's build. Buildings, a small shack. I need five building materials. Camping, campfire, camp bed, farming, vegetable farms, a well, lights, mining, a stone mine. Tech, small research bench, which is what we need. But I need three building materials. Okay. Building, welcome to build mode. First, select the building you want from the panel. Uh, hint, building a small shack will allow you to build a research bench inside. With this, you can learn to unlock a new tech tree. I see. So, 
Uh, that kind of points us in a direction then. I knew that, that that was something you could do. But I just didn't know exactly how. Building a shack might be what we need to do. Building a shack to get a little bit of experience running for us. Um, and, and to start properly researching anything uh, might be a good thing. Now, we could just be nomads forever, obviously. For now, we're just going to follow Rust Hilt back to town while he kind of gets used to his new equipment load. Looking a little bit more better than he was prior and definitely more formidable. Maybe we should buy our building materials now just to have them. But I really, I just want a backpack. They're not expensive, and there's all five right there. Do they stack? So my inventory would have to be completely empty. And I need a bag, somehow. Feeling a little bit of confidence, I think, in his step. Having not only, um, whoop. Not only re-equipped himself with some good stuff, practice a little bit of combat, not that he's fantastic in any way, uh, but feeling as though he's kind of hit a dead end here in the hub itself, I think maybe, knowing that there's a still a town not too far from here, the only other town he knows of, I think maybe Rust Hilt feels it's time to, to head south. Head towards Squin. See what's there. And with that, um, maybe find another way to make some money. I think we're going to buy out the rest of their food. I don't like spending this much, but I think we're going to buy at least that. Uh, and as we, as we travel, we're going to need it. It's so expensive, dude. Dried meats. I think we'll be okay with that. And I think it's time. I think Rust Hill, sick of mining and, and realizing this town is overcharging for everything that they have. And they can because they're the only one around as the bar to the north seems to only sell or at least mostly sell weaponry. This one sells food and everybody, everybody wants food. And it's a problem because this is, everything is so expensive. So feeling frustrated, feeling a little bit confident though not terribly much, and feeling like he's prepped to make the trip, Rust Tilt begins his travel to Squin. Heading south, hoping that it's going to be a journey worth taking. And when we get to Squin, what will we find? Well, there's only one way to find out. The outer walls of the hub greet Rust Tilt as he walks away. He's thankful. He's thankful Hub, the Hub, gave him a place to stay, a place to start, a place to feel at least a little bit of safety, though not entirely. But if safety is going to be something he wants in the Wasteland, everybody knows you have to do it yourself. So, leaving Hub behind him, much like he's left most of his life, Rust Hilt moves on. Beyond the walls of the Hub, beyond the safety of the guards of the bar, and hopefully past the wandering patrols of any or all criminal organizations. We can only hope that this particular trip will be one of peace. Interesting to see a bunch of just metallic objects lying around. We can't do anything with them yet, but I wonder if we can eventually, because it is giving us the cancellation sign, like it could be interacted with. I just wonder what it could be. Look at this. Alien plan. This is my first time really getting into going into the wasteland as a player. Um, that's beautiful too. But it's scary. I don't know what what waits out here for me. God knows. Could be anything. We're actually well on our way to Squib. We're almost there. Not too bad. That's a lot more windmills than we are used to seeing. And I'm curious if this place is going to be dangerous. And I'm sure Rust Hilt feels a feeling of, of elation deep down. Excited that there's something here, bigger people, but is scared. There's obviously a line of guards on the outside. Is this a place that will welcome us? Will they kill us? Will they be neutral? Will they even protect us? As we make our way up, We'll be finding out very, very soon.
Let's hope Rust Hilt finds a welcoming presence and friendly conversation. As Hub was, well, a hub of banditry and uncertainty. <laughs>